<clears throat> what is up everybody how's it going happy thursday we are back from a regular show super apologize about monday uh things just got you know hey we had uh we had some uh we had some craziness but everything is here we're back and we're going to be doing that new stream on monday which should be super rad um we've actually completely changed it so but today we're here doing a commission build which hey come on that's what we want right we, sometimes we get to do commission builds we got some cool commission builds coming up i'm actually pretty excited about them uh some one for cad uh we've got um you know, another one that my my daughter is probably going to be on as well so there's some really cool stuff uh still coming up from commissions we do have available commission slots by the way for February, uh, January is uh, pretty much sold out, uh, but we do have some ones for February uh, and we've opened up ones for March. So if you're interested in uh, getting a hold of a build, uh, just go ahead and reach out to me over on Discord and we can basically get you started. We got a bunch of new cases coming, we got new GPUs coming, all that sort of stuff. So it should be super, super fun, super good to uh super good to see everybody man the last stream we had i don't know if you guys remember the last stream that we had was that eight eight and a half hour long uh halo infinite uh water cooled build which was absolutely bonkward so it was uh crazy um hey did build to, uh would the build today play halo yes absolutely it's a 3070 ti build great 1440p ha uh, halo infinite build for sure so yeah do you do shipping to UK for commission builds? We do. Uh, just be aware that you have to pay that GST or whatever that tax is. But yeah, no, we do. Uh, we do ship to the UK. We have done that multiple times. So we do international shipping for commissions as well. What's the website? The website is discord.gg slash robitech. That's the place to go and talk about it. So yeah, that Halo stream, that Halo build was pretty rad. We did put blue liquid in it. Um, we might have, hey, Kevin. I'll see what Kevin's doing. Maybe Kevin can put the fix the, the lights and we'll show it here a little bit later on the stream. Hey, yeah, I know I look good. We got we got some exercise stuff in and yeah, all that sort of stuff. It's uh, dude today. I mean, we're trying to figure out schedules like I'll just be. Do you think we can make the lights blue just to show the 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 because it's all it's just changing the G skill. It's everything set up for it. If you have time, if you don't, it's cool. We just want to show it three hours three and a half hours cool thanks yeah so we'll show it off we'll show it with the blue i know you guys want to see the blue liquid in the build so we'll show that off a little bit later today um yeah it's uh it's been crazy i'll be honest we're trying to figure out this new schedule not for roby tech but just you know i will tell you as i uh, for those of you who don't know september of last year yeah, last year I went full-time as a content creator. So this is my full-time job. And I will tell you, there was some niceness about the rigidity of working at Microsoft because you kind of had things. And so when I came off of that role and then just immediately got into uh, doing this role full-time, I'll be honest, man, I had no, I was doing, I was like, I just kind of lost balance in general. And so one of the goals for 2022 is like, hey, I'm gonna summit three mountains. So we're summiting uh, Hood, we're summiting uh, Rainier, and we're summiting Adams, right? So the plan is to summit those with a fourth potentially being St. Helens. Um, and so uh, we're doing, I'm in the middle of doing training, but I wanted to spend some time basically focusing on me, right? So basically mornings we've got like, we've got, I just got a Peloton. So I, I don't know if you followed on Twitter, but we basically set up a home gym. I've, I've been on the bike for a while, but we got a tread. Um, and so today was like the first day of doing those whole thing workout. And I also do Orange Theory. So I, I work out five days a week. Um, and it's all been part of the stuff that I've been doing in terms of losing weight and just getting prepared for that stuff. But man, I'll tell you, 30 minutes, I did 30 minutes on the bike. I was supposed to do an, uh, another 45 minutes on the tread. And then I was supposed to do 35 minutes on the tonal. And I thought, hey, I'll just start it like, you know, at eight o'clock. And then my, by like 10.30, I wasn't even done. So, because just, work gets involved anyway just a little bit more information you probably care about but uh yeah that's that's what's going on praying i'm good thank you very much for this the uh the uh, five gifted subs also scanner hey sky scanner who is going to be helping me out he's he's gotten me a gpu so i appreciate that thank you very much for the resub at tier two hoping to win one of those awesome gpus um uh for those of you who don't know let's talk about the giveaways uh we do have some giveaways happening today on the show it's the usual nothing too crazy uh we are going to do the announcement for the gpus on saturday uh, we did draw the winner but there was something funky about it so we're going to do that announcement on saturday for the winner of the 3080 ti uh, but uh, and also we have shipped out all but two uh gpus to winners right so a bunch of winners are getting like we're almost 100 percent caught up 
with all of our big prizes stuff. So 3080, 3080 TIs, all that stuff just went out. Uh, and people should be getting those this week, which is awesome. And then Blondie is, Blondie's got a mountain of giveaways. So we give away so much stuff on this show um, that it's actually pretty crazy. But um, we're gonna announce the winner for the 3080 Ti on Saturday. Uh, giveaways that are happening today too. We have a uh, 250 gig NVMe SSD, which Red Dragon is uh, trying to get us started on. If we get two level five hype trains here on the show today, we got four. On Saturday, it was absolutely crazy, but if we get two level five hype trains here on the show, uh, then we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. Uh, if we get, uh, if we get uh, 500 likes on the YouTube over at youtube.com slash RobyTech, we'll also give away a 250 gig NVMe. And then finally down in that corner, you'll see that 16. If we get to 50, it becomes a $50 new gift card. 100 becomes a $100 new gift card, and then it starts to grow. So the more subs I get, the better the giveaways get which is absolutely awesome. So it's my way of you scratch mine. I, I give away free stuff. That's kind of the way it goes and it goes to support our team and all that other stuff. Finally, for the month of January, for my birthday month, uh, you, can, uh, you can basically, uh, you can, uh, uh, get in on the 3070 Ti giveaway. If you want to get in on that, use your free Amazon Prime subscription. Using your Amazon Prime subscription uh, gets you a free entry into uh, win a GPU. Now, if you want to get extra entries, you can do like what Praying I'm Good has just done or like Red Dragon, uh, where you can gift subs. That gets you extra entries. And then finally, subscribing to Tier 3 and Tier 2 gets you extra entries like Skyscanner, uh, who got five extra entries for Tier 2 and 10 extra entries for Tier 3, respectively. So. That's all the stuff that's happening uh, as it goes right now. Also, don't forget, we have the Origin PC giveaway that is currently active. That's happening, and that ends on, the, on January 21st. We have another giveaway with MSI, which we built. That is actually going active sometime in the last week of January. And then we also have the Seagate giveaway as well that's happening in the end of January. So three PCs that we're going to be giving away this month. <clears throat> also, a couple other things. One, build mats. We actually ended up getting a second order in a build mat. So... We do have build mats in stock. If you want to pick up one of these build mats, uh, head on over to uh, uh, robitechstore.com. The link's right there. They're 100 bucks um, if you want to pick one up. The ones that are signed are pretty much sold out, So, uh, but all those signatured ones did go out. So thank you very much, everybody who bought from the first wave. But if you want to go pick those up, you can do that as well. Plus, we're celebrating my birthday right now. Uh, any of my merch outside of the mats uh, is 44% off. So if you want to get one of those rad jackets we got from New Era or the New Era hats, which, I mean, these things are awesome. Uh, all this stuff is 44% off for just this week to celebrate my 44th birthday, uh, which is on Monday. So uh, this is all uh, that is happening as well. So there's a, there's a little housekeeping items uh, for you and all that sort of stuff. So one more thing, let's get one more. There it is, Hype Train is very active. Look at that, it just, it ended right at the right time. And there it is, yeah, happy birthday to me. It's happening, happening right there. <clears throat> so yeah, lots of good stuff. How would we know if I ordered earlier if is a signed one or not? Uh, Alcurda, if you ordered one earlier, it was signed. Trust me, everything that was ordered up until today has been signed. So if you ordered one, you're in. You're good. I signed it. And I, I, I signed it. I signed every single one of them. It was a long day, but I signed every single one of them in silver in the bottom right-hand corner. So thank you very much, guys. <clears throat> hey, I appreciate it. Yeah, these, uh, these things look great. I love these lights. Happy birthday from Germany. Praying I'm good's getting his tomorrow. Nice. So many people basically picking them up. But anyway, I know a lot of people still want to get mats, so those mats are still available. And I still, I still think we have like 20 or 30, 20 or 30 signed mats still up. So if you do get one, um, <clears throat> I know Jonas, I, I age beautifully. I, you know, sometimes I'm always afraid to say my age because I think a lot of people think I'm in my 30s and I'm not. And so, uh, you know, it's just like, it's like, oh man. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm not in my 30s. I'm in my 40s. And I love it. I, I have a great life. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not upset about it or whatever. I had 20 years at Microsoft, right? So that's the thing, right? It's like you, you, a lot of time spent in MS making video games. Um, <clears throat> now I need to build desk, build desk enough. Yeah, exactly. There we go. There's a jack. Oh, and by the way, I do apologize. Uh, we are implementing still the, and you will be able to use, and that's why we push the giveaways. Um, you will be able to use channel points for extra entries in the giveaway. So we're with that, that is what slowed down some of the PC giveaways. Again, we're trying to find you great places to use giveaway, uh, use channel points. So it is coming. It should like one of the days you just turn it on and it'll be working with a stream. We are testing it. So that is coming. What's up, Darth? How are you, man? Man, look at this. Tim Zentu resubscribing one month tier three, 17 month anniversary. Scott Maxfield, 18 months. Holy crap, agreed. Wow. Akesius, is it Akesius? 
Uh, subscribe with Prime. Thank you very much. Praying I'm good. Giving out five gifted subs. Kemic, obviously giving out one month, 18 months there too. Red Dragon, 10 gifted subs. Praying I'm good. Another five gifted subs earlier. And then we talked about Sky Scanner already. And we are 45% through all the way through high, uh, level five already. So uh, just got the green light from uh, just got the green light for my wife to order all the parts for my white 4000 D build. Any tips on getting a white 3070? Lord God, my man, you are you are in for some punishment. Unfortunately, uh, they have still shown up uh, over at the New Egg Shuffle. I saw them there two days ago. Uh, there, outside of that, the other best option, and I know this sounds terrible, uh, but is getting it from StockX, which. The way StockX works, unlike eBay, is the way StockX works, and I've actually ordered GPUs, the prices are a little bit less conflated. Uh, they change all the time. You can actually see the price history. Um, but the way it works is StockX, it ships, they verify that it's an authentic, brand new GPU, and then from there, they then send it to you. Um, so StockX is another option, but you're gonna pay above MSRP. If you're looking for MSRP, uh, dude, you're, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's gonna be kind of crazy. Zotac does have a 3060 Ti white for sale right now. And I don't know, I think Tom just bought that, right? Tom, you're buying that right now? That's what he should be doing for me. He, he said he was gonna get me one. Yeah, Zotac, we've had the 3060 Ti in white. The other one too that you can also do, I think Gigabyte also has a 3070 Ti in white. But the Asus, the one that everybody loves is the Asus Strix 3070, and that still is showing up over on Newegg Shuffle. So, and I did, by the way, guys, a couple, couple cool things. We have a 3080, 12, we have a two 12 gig 3080s on their way in. So huge shout out to EVGA and for ASUS for that stuff. So you guys will get to see those. We'll be, we'll be testing those in builds as part of our, uh, our case review. So that should be cool too. 55 seconds, guys. Let's finish this out. Okay, Stumpy Squatch, thank you very much. Them Wrench, Welch, I start paying, stop paying attention. We got a minute, we're not there. Come on, let's finish this out. You guys are making me nervous. Uh, whoa, okay, uh, let's, uh, this is, you guys always like to do this to me, and I, like, I, I just, I got stomach problems from all the stress during hype trains. <laughs> 30 seconds! Who's gonna make it happen? We're so close. I just thought it was gonna happen. No, so, uh, so crazy panic. Pancake, we've done some testing on those. Zotac, I don't know where that's coming from. I think it's past. I don't think that's an issue we've had anymore. Guys, 20 seconds. I, are we not gonna do it? Like this is this is how close it is. 15 seconds. Holy crud. Is it not gonna happen? I don't think it's gonna happen. No, it's not. Oh, it's it's a thousand bits gun lagger. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, red dragon coming in clutch. Hootie hoot uh, and gun lagger. You guys, thank you because Wow, that was that was the tightest we've ever had. I gotta say, um, yeah, that was that was that almost didn't happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was close. That was too close for me. Uh, what's a good PC for GTA 5? Honestly, uh, 3070 with uh, with a 5600X is perfectly fine for uh, for uh, GTA 5. Way to go, Red Dragon! Thank you very much. Also, Gunlagger, Hootie Hooch, and then Stumpy Squatch. You guys also as well. Um, thank you very much, man. So, uh, why have their la why have the last ones? You know what? Honestly, Dart Zeldier, I, I will say, I wish that we could delay Hype Train um, for like for like 15, 20 minutes. The problem is, is that always at the beginning, uh, we do have that PC for sale. Yes, we have one PC for sale. Uh, it's uh, it's it's basically sixteen hundred bucks all in, uh, and you can basically it's just ready to ship. It's a uh, it's the H1 Mini Plus. Yeah, there it is, right there. We do have one of those for sale. It's got a 1660 in it, a 3060 in it, uh, a 10700K. Uh, it's it's an absolute, it's brand new. It, you're still under warranty. No issues whatsoever if you guys want to get one. Um, and we have that. Disclaimer, Zotac only uh, accepts PayPal. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, no, thank you. I appreciate that. <clears throat> um, okay. Well, do you guys ready to talk about the build we're doing today? Build match should be delivered Monday. Congratulations, man. How relevant are the R930? Honestly, with the 30, with, here's the deal. With the uh, 5500, the 6500 and the 3050, not very relevant anymore. But good luck getting those. That's the problem. So, um, yeah. Uh, any Anything else? You know, it's funny who hacked me. Uh, we actually did a bunch of, hey, there's tier, there's, look at that, Tom with his tier two. 
Um, uh, somebody's talking about, uh, is it considered low tier? Like we actually had our Zotac 3080, uh, their hollow edition was outperforming uh, one of our EVGA cards. So um, yeah, I'm back to signing up for the shuffle. Hey, good luck, Brian, I'm carrying on good. No, I haven't had any issue with the Zotacs. I, I, it's just Zotac customer service is what I've heard. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, they've, I think it's they, they've had a bad rep in the past. I don't know if that's still true. I asked a bunch of questions and nobody had a good answer. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, so going for that. <clears throat> but yeah, I still, I, I, I don't, I only own two. I only have two Zotacs. Um, and so it was just like, we did the testing. I was like, I don't understand. The thermals were great, all that sort of stuff, so. <clears throat> Yeah, any GPU is a good GPU, yep. All right, well, let's talk about what we're putting in today's build. Uh, this one is for Marlin. This is a commission build. This is not being given away, anything like that. So please don't ask. I mean, people are gonna ask anyway, um, but uh, let's, uh, let's go through the build happening today. For our CPU, okay, for our CPU, using the Ryzen 9 5900X, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like that guy on TikTok. I mean, you just really don't need to say anything. It's just like, there you go. It's a great, there is no question. It's a great CPU, perfect for gaming, perfect for pretty much work station, all that sort of stuff. So if you need it, you're good. <clears throat> uh, for RAM, I love this RAM. This is the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro SL. Um, uh, we got 32 gigs here at 3,200 megahertz. Um, so uh, again, so semi-budget level PC, not with 2,600 bucks not being a real budget, but uh, the one thing about it is that like uh, he didn't like he was he was being very cost conscious in terms of where he was spending his money. So didn't get 3,600 megahertz, got 3,200 megahertz stuff like that, um, just to make sure that he stayed within his budget, which is great. Would you go for Corsair Dominator or Vengeance? Who hacked me? It depends on what you're doing. Like for instance, we uh, we have a gentleman who I'm literally in the middle of planning a build for right now, um, who does CAD, uh, high financial stuff, things like that, where Dominator makes a big sense. It big, makes a big difference because he wants that speed, that low latency, um, and he needs a lot of RAM. Um, but if you're just for gaming, then it doesn't make a ton of sense. Like you're just paying for, you're just kind of paying for a name. This is not gonna stay, so. There it is, there's our RAM. Uh, for our motherboard, uh, Asus Tough Gaming. I was supposed to use this in the Halo build, but we were not able to because it did not have a backplate in it. This is this one's new, so it has a backplate, so we don't have to worry about that. Great motherboard, B550M, uh, allows us to basically set this in five slot mode, which is what I like, allowing us to put the cooling that we're gonna be using uh, in this case, which is the Galahad AIO 360. Um, I was gonna do, like originally, this is a free upgrade for him. We were gonna do a 280, a 240, but um, I just think this is gonna look way better. So I ended up having a spare one, so I gave him a free upgrade. Uh, Galahad 360 AIO. Um, we're gonna be doing top mounting on the, uh, on the, uh, on the case, um, and this is gonna look absolutely great. Um, for our, speaking of that, just to make sure we're doing fan-wise, uh, we're gonna be using uh, their regular fans here. So we've got their SL120s, we got two SL140s. I have another pack of SL120s here somewhere. You go grab that. I think I put it back on the stage. So forgetting that I have these Lee and Lees, but I need to still use the SL120s. There they are, yep. So it's like, a, it's this is like turning into one of those like, you know, Instagram picturesque builds for sure. There's all our fans, because you always need nine fans. It's gonna be one of those picturesque Instagram builds already, um, so it's gonna look absolutely great. Uh, for storage, we're using WD Black uh, SN750s. We got a one terabyte and a 500 gig, uh, which I absolutely like. So there's our there's our SN750s right there. Hey, Moistgrams, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Also, Broke S13, thank you also for the five gifted subs, taking us to 51 and changing the tier that we're at. So let me go to all widgets, sub goal, and $100 new gift card. We need 100, we're at 51. 2022, there we go. <clears throat> so there is our 
storage uh, for our power supply because this is a 011 mini non-air uh, we do have to use a uh, SFX PSU so we're going to be using the EVGA 850 GM I love this power supply um, and uh, just all in all like it's just nice uh, which will be good so there's our power supply there's our RAM there's our CPU <clears throat> and then for our GPU finishing it out strong the EVGA RTX 3070 Ti FTW3 and all of this is going to go inside of the 011 Mini Black. So yeah, it should be a good, good build. Um, so yeah, that should be good. <clears throat> can't, great, can't wait to see this build. I have seen no joke about 432 times, yep. This build, you know what, you know what makes this Pranum good? What makes this so kind of cookie cutter more than anything is the Galahad, right? Like sometimes we'll throw like an X70, a Z73 or whatever it was, but yes, it, it, it was from there. Don't worry, we have new cases, lots of new cases, lots of new builds, but every once in a while, it's like there's just something about doing a nice 011 Mini. Uh, we have an 011 Evo that should be here, I don't know, it, here any, any day, so it should be here very soon. Um, I'm actually excited, guys, I'm really excited about the case game that's gonna be coming in 2022. Let me just, let me just, let me just hint at that a little bit. Okay, so let's get this stuff out of the way and then we'll start the build. Praying I'm a good, you're still gonna enjoy it. You're gonna love the build, you know you will, even though you've seen it so many times. They are hot, yeah, and that's the thing is they always look really good. It's kind of like the Corsair 5000D, that one's been done a lot too. Yeah, there is comfort. It's just, you know what this means? It just means I get to pay more attention to you guys. No, oh, I need to put this right here though. That's what you want, right? You just want my attention. Build watching is a sport. Can Icy Sniper, today's your birthday? It's Icy Sniper's birthday. Guys, oh man, and if and it, when it's tech specialists, they get they get to uh, uh, they get a very special thing. So we get to sing happy birthday to Icy Sniper. So everybody Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, I see sniper. Happy birthday to you. That's awesome, man. 35. <clears throat> wow, you're a baby. Um, <clears throat> but there it is, man. That's awesome. Happy birthday, buddy. That's awesome. There you go. And I sang you happy birthday. Dude, Icy has been with us for a very, very long time um, and uh, absolutely just rock solid member of our community. Uh, and uh, he is, uh, he's awesome. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there it goes. <laughs> now I feel really old. He's <laughs> Icy's awesome. Is he, uh, are you gonna go celebrate? Or are you just, did you just pop in to say it's your happy birthday? Because if, if you did, it, that'd be okay. And many more. You're gonna go celebrate with your family. Uh, you can go do that if you want. <clears throat> yeah, that's cool. Look at all those people saying happy birthday. RGB walking stick. There you go. <laughs> that's what we should get. That's what you should get everybody. <laughs> oh no, he goes, nope, I'm hanging out. Okay, well good. I thank you for hanging out on your birthday. That's awesome. Okay, so let's get this built. An, a an ARGB sword came. Hey, what's up, Juggalo? Oh, it's okay. You can have your, you, I, I, I forgive you. You can have your nap. Juggalo, how old are you? Because Icy turned 35 today. How old are you, Juggalo? I love naps. Naps are the best. You have to admit. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. You're at work. Jug oh, okay, then yeah. So Juggalo's like, yeah, I had my nap. I didn't know you were that old, my friend. That's crazy. What is this? That's nothing. Okay. okay, hey, that's what that looks like. So we just need to find our. <coughs> need to find our. <laughs> our our own. Um, IO shield. 
Oh, really? I love naps. <laughs> well, happy birthday, happy 29th today, Stumpy. That's still awesome. 29's a good age. That's when you start to actually realize that you're almost an adult. I think, honestly, like, people don't really know who they are until they're in their 30s. Yeah. That's, but you know, it's funny, because people in their 20s are like, that is not true. But I will say, if, when you're in your 30s, you're like, man, I was an idiot. <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean? You probably don't, but I'm just saying, for those who are older, what would you think? <clears throat> yeah, Fez is like, yep, I can confirm. Just like, man, I'll tell you, I don't know what it was about when you turn 30, all of a sudden you're like, what was I doing? Enjoy the PGA as it's going away. What does that mean? What is PG, like pre, the, the Pro Golf Association? What's, what does that even mean? Okay, let's get this uh, going in there. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sorry, I didn't, didn't even connect that. Yes, with the new socket, I know. I don't know if I, yeah, they're going LGA, I know. It is, but we, we have many more 5,000 series builds, so I'm not, I don't even feel like we're even close on this show to actually getting anywhere near where that's like, but it, it's funny, it's kind of like, it'll kind of be like the last time I, I lifted my kids, like, you think about this, like, and I don't know, if you don't have kids, this makes zero sense to you, but <clears throat> one day I just stopped picking up my kids and I don't even know when that happened. Like one, like there was a time that I picked up my son or I picked up my daughter and that was the last time I ever did that. And so it's like one of those things that I think kind of like the playing with a P, like using the, the PGA uh, versus an LGA socket that one day I'll just be like, oh, that was my last build in with this socket. You know what I mean? So. Sorry, that's where I was going with that. It did actually have a point. <clears throat> uh, no, Sake, no you didn't. We got, we got lots of Oj people, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's just one of those things, Count it, that, uh, yeah, you just won't know. It just, it just happens, and you don't, like there's, you kind of feel like, where was the pawn from circumstance, but. <clears throat> Last time you did a build with an Oris Viva and a Unifan S, and I asked about the RGB L Connect 2 issue. I plugged this 5 RGB from the board, but my L Connect 2 still says it can't detect the controller. So, I, hey, I missed you too. Um, so here's the deal. I, like, it's funny, because I remember that conversation, and here's kind of where I am with Lee and Lee and controlling RGB from the, oh, oh, you're saying, you're, you, you're, you can't read it from the USB? I know, sorry, Star Fox. I, I did not mean to. <clears throat> okay, so we got sockets in, we're good to go there. Sadness is ensued now. <clears throat> so whoever asked that question, were you talking about uh, putting it on the, you couldn't read it off of the USB or you couldn't read it off of the, um, off of the um, ARGB? I don't know who that was, sorry. Oh, just keep saying control. And so who hacked me? I have heard, like we had the same problem with ours and we had to switch, it has to be in a specific USB slot. And it has to be what, like so, um, and if it's not, it will not get detected. Uh, we had a problem, we had a similar problem, but we had to switch and then it was fine. <clears throat> have you tried both of the connect, both of the USB connections? <clears throat> Get any presents again? <clears throat> I'll send you presents, Juggalo. I'll send you presents. Yeah, that's what we uh, we had. We ended up having that exact same issue, and we had to put it in a very specific um, USB slot. Yeah, there you go, Saki Bomb. That's I do know. It's like those parents, um, and this is very sad. But I do know parents who've uh, <clears throat> who had cancer or whatever it was, and so they pre-bought gifts and letters for their kids, right, knowing that they weren't going to be around. But that is super morbid. Like we've gotten really morbid right now.
So, yeah. What's up, PC guy? It's good to see you, man. Okay, we're just getting our little uh, M.2 things there. Oh, it's okay. So it's okay, Ju Juggalo. <clears throat> you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I don't think we were trying to be more, but I just started like thinking about it. I was like, man, this is really... Uh, so the O1, yeah, the O11 Mini will fit a Mini ITX, a Micro ATX, and an ATX. It's a, it's a very convertible case. You will see here very soon when I get it all ready for five slot mode. Oh, praying I'm good. Well, I don't know, man. I, it's funny. I hope that I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do a really crazy build in the uh, O11 Evo. I have to find, yeah, it's fine. I will do a dad joke. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think of, I'm trying to think of a good one. There was one I just heard the other day. It was pretty good and I forgot what it was. Thing is, is now I've heard so many, I've heard so many dad jokes that I can't remember them. <clears throat> Does my PC need a GPU for display? As and off, it depends on if it's a AMD or if it's an Intel and what specific Intel chip. So that, that is a depends answer and not, not the diaper. <clears throat> yeah, if you put them in Discord, I'll go, I'll switch over and I'll, I'll read some here in a, in a couple minutes. Lighten the mood. 35, six, no. I'm, uh, does anybody know Asanoff? I'm pretty sure that's not an APU off of the top of my head. 35,600, what is that? I mean, <clears throat> insert dad punt, there you go, I did, yeah, there you go. Insert dad pun with diaper. <clears throat> I heard, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if, uh, I don't, okay, this one, here's, here's one, here's one for you. I don't know, this is borderline clean, okay? This is borderline clean, okay? <clears throat> so this guy walks into a bar. This guy walks into a bar. He's sitting there and he's like, walks in and he's, uh, he starts looking around, he sees people, they're just having a good time and he looks on the, pian on the, uh, on the uh, counter. And on the counter is this little like man playing piano. He's just sitting there playing piano. And the guy is just, he's dumbfounded. He's like, what, what is this? This is, this is the most incredible thing ever. So he walks up to the, the uh, bartender and he goes, he goes, bartender, he goes, where did you find that little pianist? And uh, the bartender goes, he kind of looks at him, he, he eyes him, he looks him up and down. He goes, okay, I'm gonna tell you a secret, man. He goes, in the closet over there is a lamp. And if you rub that lamp, there is a genie. Now that genie's a little hard of hearing, so just be careful what you wish for. The guy goes, oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Runs off, opens the door, takes out the, sees the lamp, rubs the lamp, and the genie appears. <clears throat> and he goes, man, he's like, I am the genie of the lamp. Uh, what is it that you wish for? And the guy goes, I want a million bucks. Um, and I want to, yeah, he goes, I want a million bucks. And then all of a sudden, a million ducks show up everywhere. And just like, the guy is just flabbergasted. He's like, what the heck? So he runs out of the closet, uh, runs out of the closet. There's ducks all over the place. Runs up to the bartender and he goes, dude, he goes, what the heck, man? I asked for a million bucks and I got a million ducks. He goes, yeah, dude, you think I really asked for a 12 inch pianist? <laughs> There you go. There is one. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna. I'm, I, I wish I had like a cool way to like have them so I had access to them all the time. Like maybe I'll, I might get a dedicated screen just for dad jokes so I can read them more frequently. But I, my favorite dad jokes, I don't know about you, my favorite dad jokes are the ones that like are more story related, you know what I mean, like those. Did I 
put this on backwards. I always, I always do this, don't I? I always end up having to go back and look at the... Oopsie. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go look at the bottom here and make sure I put it the right direction. Yeah, I put it the wrong one. Exactly what I thought I wouldn't do, and I did it. It is only keyed one way, which is why it probably didn't work. Can't go back to watch what on YouTube? I must, I must miss what he said. That's the genie for an RTX 3080 Ti, and he gets a TIE fighter. That's what's gonna happen. You get 3,080 TIEs. Oh, okay. That's a guy. That's that's good info, Saiski. Um, okay, let's get this open. So I got to be really careful, uh, uh, Kestrel. Uh, uh, Kestrel, I saw your joke. I just don't like. The thing is, I I actually am more family friendly, so I got to be really careful. So I like that one was like borderline there. So I, that's why I'm not reading that because I don't know if that goes some way, one way. We had a super chat. What was it? I missed it. How did you, how did you do that? How did you do that? Oh, Adam, thank you for the 1999. You are amazing. Was it to pay for the joke? Cause it was so good. Cause the joke was so good. Okay. Okay, there's that one. Okay, time for the clicks, guys. Everybody, you came for the dad joke, stayed for the clicks. That's what everybody's here for. Adam's mad. Please don't be mad, Adam. Please don't be mad. I'm sorry, Adam. They, that's what Blondie's for. She made sure we saw it. No, I appreciate it, man. That's huge. Thank you. Please don't be mad, Adam. Adam's mad at me, guys. <clears throat> Uh, vein rays, dude, that's, I'm sorry, man. It's just, it's such a hard question. Okay, let me pause this music here. Here we go, pausing. Okay, here we go. Time to click it in. Time to do the clicks. Here we go, ready? First one. Ninety three point six. That was a solid click. I actually felt that in my lower right knee. That was how solid that was. <clears throat> that was that was a pretty solid one. That was pretty solid. Um, let's get let's get the next one up here. Here we go. Number two. Okay, here we go. This is the decibel. This is we who hacked me. We're trying to see how good the clicks are. It's our click rating. 90.2 you know what what i like about this though is it's got it's got a it's got it's got good solid like single sound click which is nice so it always makes me happy <clears throat> um okay let's go from there dude martin why are you so mad martin's mad why is martin mad here we go I know it's not it's not the best in terms of the sound there. Okay, here we go. Ninety-four point five. There it is right there, ninety-four point five. Last one. Oh, that was terrible. That was like the worst. Eighty-eight. But it's in. Okay, guys. So the first one was definitely the best of the clicks. But uh, not the, uh, not the, uh, yeah. Did Martin have a question? Did he say anything with this super chat? 
Yeah, it's a little bit. You're right. Definitely. Okay, there they are. They're all locked in now. <clears throat> no, I mean Adam. I'm seeing if Adam had a question. Hefeo in a tear. Epic fail. With the words epic fail in the back. Bursting to tears with the words. What was the epic fail? What did I epically fail at? <clears throat> oh. I missed, I missed, I missed the joke. I don't know what the joke is. Um, okay, let me get the, uh, let me, let me uh, okay, so we got that done. Everything's ready. Let me see how we're gonna, let's see if, uh, let's see what um, our mounting mechanism is for the AIO here. Ugh. Oh, this is white. That's gonna do me no good. I might have to use the 280. This is white, it's not black. The AIO song is now non-existent because this is not the right color. I was trying to upgrade him to a 360 and then I don't know if I have one. <laughs> I like that one, Dustpan. Why did Daniel Craig have graying hair in the latest 007? Because he had no time to die. That. That is a genius one. I like that one a lot. <clears throat> I like that one. That one was good. We need a 360 millimeter AIO. I think if we do, that's a 240. I got a Capellix. What are these? What do these look like? I want a 360. What color is this? It's a 280. Oh, here we go. Let's use this one. MO 360 illusion. Is that white? That's silver, right? Oh no. Yeah, let's do this one. This one's got an infinity mirror in it. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna switch it up to the Master Liquid ML360 mirror. Because I want to give him a 360. Okay. Okay, so for our mounting for this, We want to use AMD, not, I'm just gonna make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, so it's just the, it's the same thing, it latches on, right? Yeah, it's the latch, okay, cool. Okay, so it's the latch, so nothing, I don't have to do anything to get this mounted, cool. And there we go. <clears throat> Oops, let's not get that in it. Okay, so let's get our case stripped, get everything prepped over, and then we'll uh, let's get our uh, get our motherboard in. We'll need this still. Stumpy Squatch, what was what was his question? I missed the question. Yeah, that sounds like an interesting question. I like the cut. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, I. Uh, it was nice. It's nice to be uh, back in the world of. Uh, appropriately groomed. Oh yeah, no, yeah, not in today's. Yeah, definitely not in today's world. I have a feeling. The good thing is, I think we'll get done to like thousand dollar builds here with a thirty fifty, if you can get one. Yeah. Yay! 
Evo, really? It's all fine? Did you get it, uh, did you get it filled? Oh, what, wait, you, is there, wasn't there EK? There's coolant in there. <clears throat> Evo got his build. He got a Robitech build. It's a big build. No, there's, there, there, it doesn't, that's still enough. You should be able to fill the whole loop with that. That was, I, that's fine. That's, yeah, yeah, you should be able to fill the whole thing. That was from your loop. Did it come out? The, like, was it, was there liquid in the bottom or anything like that? No, Evo's build was too big to build on stream. This is an Obsidian 1000D. No, you did not miss it. And Evo, by the way, when you fill the loop, when you fill the loop, make sure that you use the power switch on the PSU to turn it off. Don't use the power switch on the PC because it'll be too slow. Oh no. Okay, so yeah, it really did drain. Son of a, well, that sucks. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, it shouldn't, yeah, then, yeah, you gotta wait for more liquid. I can't believe that. Was anything else in the box ruined because of it? Stupid. Never works, I try so hard. Yeah, the problem is, is that most people don't have two PSUs hanging around. Okay, we gotta put this into, we gotta put this into new, the new mode here. Let me get this pointed down so you guys can see it. Okay, so now we're gonna put this into micro ATX mode in terms of preparation for this whole thing. Let's get this off to the side for now. Let's go to the side camera. Okay, good. Okay, good. Well, that, that makes me feel better. Dude, I'm so excited for you. I know you've waited so long for that plume and build. I'm so glad it is at your house now. If you guys want to see his build, it's been on Twitter. There we go. There we go. Leave that one alone. No. You want a Z63 or a Z73? for a 5800X. I'm glad, I'm so sorry it took as long as it did, but I'm glad it's there. You've been very patient, my friend. I bet you, hey, does your, does your mom think it's real now? And your friend? <clears throat> Uh, my spy none. You want a 280 or a 360. You shouldn't be using a 240 with a 5950X. Really, you shouldn't. That's the little, that's a little, that's a little not enough. 5950s run really, yeah. Uh, Evo, can you find, can you uh, find a link, a uh, Twitter link to your uh, uh, Evo's build? Just blow on it. And don't listen to that person. <laughs> See, this is why I like builds like this because I can just like literally just focus on chat and just kind of build the PC.
Okay, so we're just putting this back together now, making it the new 50, the five, we're putting it into a, we're essentially putting it into five slot mode for the micro ATX build. go. There we go. Okay, that's all ready now. That'd be cool, Juggalo. I'd love to see it. Yeah, we're going to show it off again, again at the end of the show. Okay, so that is now ready for micro ATX mode. Put our screen down a little bit, a table. Oops, we went top down. Okay, let's grab our additional. <clears throat> yeah, for 12th gen, it's even, it's even worse. Okay, so that's for micro ATX mode. <clears throat> I actually really like this case in terms of it's, I mean, it's it's used a lot, but it is a, it is a very nice looking, it is a very nice case. Uh, Super Swag 3211, I use the uh, Kremik Arctic Silver. The other one that's actually also very good is the uh, Thermal Paste from Noctua. Uh, both of those rated really well on um, the PC uh, PC World thermal paste testing. They did a like they tasted they tested a bunch of different ones. So thank you, Quake Baker. Okay, um, what we wanna do now is we need to switch all of our standoffs. So that's the next part, so get that ready. And the other thing too I wanna also add is I need to add the little, the little screws to make the case stay in, the little extension stay in. So these are to keep the extension in for the. Is there one? That was. There we go. Yep, the Noctua N NH uh, NTH one, yes. That's really great thermal paste. Very easy to spread too, which is one of the things I really like about it. I know not everybody does what I do, but I am a, I am, hey, what's up the Wicked John? How are you, man? Thank you for the hi from Pakistan. That's very nice of you. Here we go, last of these screws. Then we gotta put it into five mode. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, move all our standoffs.
There's a little bit more prep that needs to go into using this case. Oop, not three, I want five. I'm never gonna I'm never gonna be able to hit everybody's music taste. That's just I gave up on that a long time ago. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. Yeah. How are we doing on likes, by the way, guys, for the YouTubes? PC guy, how are we doing? Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got those in. I'm gonna take a drink. <clears throat> Thank you, Juggalo. We're 160, guys. Yeah, I think so, Wicked. Okay, three, seven. We got five, five, five. Basically, all of these have to move. Oh, thank you. How does it look with the blue? Think better? Make a bigger difference. Yeah. Um, because in some cases, some of them Okay. But, I mean, it, it looks better. Okay. Well, we'll show it off, see what people say. You guys are going to vote. We have version two of the Halo build here for you guys to vote on today. I mean, we're trying to decide which liquid we're going to keep in it. There it is. There's that. Five, five, five. Okay, last ones. It goes okay, Melancholy Nomad. Melancholic. We're uh, currently uh, working through, we're about to put our motherboard in. We're just making, we just got finished transitioning to the five slot version of this case. So we're just getting all the standoffs in place. And Kind of speeds up after this. There we go. Well, Martin, we also did the whole motherboard. Well, I don't want it. I don't want it to go fast. It's supposed to be fun and talking and all that sort of stuff. If it was fast, that would be a terrible, terrible stream. Tanner, I can. Uh, you know, I can. I use. I actually use uh, a thing called. Uh, uh, Restream, and it's all the chats are in one are in one channel. Okay, here we go. Get our AIO in. I mean, our shield. There we go. Okay, that should be good. And now, that looks 
good. Okay, cool. Let's get this inside now. There we go, there's that one. Oh, we don't need that thing. There we go. Just putting all our screws in. You have one of the standoffs touching the back of the motherboard. Which one? Which one do I have touching this? Oh, the standoff's touching the motherboard. No, I don't. What, which one do I have touching the motherboard? They're, they're, all, they're all doing what they're supposed to do. They're all in the right place. Yeah, they're, they're, that's, uh, they're, all in the, they're all in the right place. Hey, what's up, nurse? Well, sometimes I like sometimes I make mistakes. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm not perfect, but I was like, wait, I don't know what which one I messed up. So I wanted to check, but yeah, they're all in the right place. Okay. It looks like Martin just got banned. That's fine. Yeah, just as long as yeah, something that Blondie can share, yeah. Uh, this isn't the new egg. Well, I mean, I'm streaming on new egg. I mean, you, uh, but he was on YouTube. He was on Roby Tech's YouTube. So I'm streaming to I'm streaming to uh, multiple channels, including new egg. If you are new egg, welcome. Uh, I, you will see. I'm actually going to apply it today, so you will get to watch it. Okay. So I think I have all of the screws. Yep. Everything looks good. Okay. Cool. Motherboard's in. Start getting our fans installed. Hey, that's awesome. Benji, you got it, huh? Congratulations, dude, that's awesome. Uh, Jeff A, I did not sign the mouse, no. 
It's uh, um, okay, what do we got? So everything there, it's all science. So let's go ahead and start putting in uh, fans. So we'll start with the rear fans. That's where I normally start. Yeah, like I said, outside, well, it would have been cookie cutter if I hadn't switched to the, um, I wouldn't switch to the, out of the Lee and Lee. But now it's not, it's gonna be, okay, so we're gonna do intake, int intake on the top, intake on the bottom, exhaust in the back. Hopefully we got some of the sticker ones, we'll see. This is, these do not have the stickers. Super Swag, use an Octua, the, the H1 or the H2. I don't know if, the, I haven't used the H2. I use the H1, and I like H1, and it's good. And it was it was the one that they rated on the PC. On uh, It was the one that they rated on um, the PC world. It was higher than Thermal Grizzly. I mean, including the Arctic stuff that I used, the Kremik Arctic, that also was higher than Thermal Grizzly uh, in terms of its productivity. Economic motherboard for a GTX 670 and an Intel CPU. Uh, what Intel CPU? Because that determines the motherboard. NTH2, I'm pretty sure if it's the NTH2 is their new thermal paste, it's going to be awesome as well. So I would like, I like Noctua. It's easy to, it's easy to apply. It's easy to use. Thank you for the five dollars, though. Yeah, I think you're gonna be fine with that, Super Swag. No, you're welcome. Everybody, the one thing I love about my community, just flat out, everybody wants to be helpful. And so they are all just trying to help. Uh, yeah, we have a couple on the way, 3070 TIs. I mean, 3090 TIs, sorry. Okay, let's get this installed. Yeah, I don't think anybody had any ill intent. They're just trying to help you get your answer. That's all. stand up down in the middle row of the standoff shouldn't have been in the third the third it dude there's a hole for it literally right here this one right here the third row this one is here there's one there all every single one that I put in is the it has a hole yes you can XOR but you can't do a 360 millimeter AIO Kev Tech, I'm just saying, it's like, the thing is, is that if I, every one of them, there's nothing that was not put in a hole. Also, that remember, you can see screws. You can see screws. Oh yeah, but these are, these ones right here, these are, they're screws for the expansion plate. Those aren't standoffs. So in the middle row, there's three, there was three standoffs, one right there, one right there and one right there, and then you might have thought that that wasn't a standoff. It wasn't a standoff. I literally looked at it twice.
Uh, the uh, they're both they're both very quiet. ML and QL. The MLs are still better fans, though. I mean, per performance-wise. Yes, exhaust on the side. We'll do intake on the top and intake on the bottom. In our thermal testing, that's the, been the ideal setup for the 011. Because you give CPU is going to the AI, the AIO will be top mounted, which means it gets fresh air, and then the GPU will get direct fresh air from the bottom. It's all, it's black, yeah, for sure. It's not, I don't, all black. Yeah, crap, I forgot about that. Yeah, we have, I forgot we have an, ex we have an exhaust fan, don't we? Crud. I do not have, he is gonna have a non, he's not gonna have a, uh, he's gonna have a non, uh, um, he's not gonna have, he's gonna have just a black fan in the back, like the other one. Okay, so that's, those are in. Now I need to do, let's go ahead and let's put together the AIO and get that mounted. <clears throat> let's put it down here. Oh. I need the AIO, there it is. Ugh. Okay. SL one twenties. Okay, so we need one of those. And we need this. Put it in here. Now, let's see, did we get sticker ones? That's the question. Depends on the when these came out. Did, did, oh, no, did you find the, no, did you have the, uh, did you have it on, did you have it on your, uh, like, can you find the Twitter one so that way we can share it? If I put it on Google Drive, it won't, I mean, unless people can look at it that way. Uh, the SL120s are better performing fans. The AL120s, that's the thing is like RGB, obviously, just because of the lighting ends up having some, uh, ends up uh, not improving RGB, uh, uh, the air, like so, the the CFM for the SL120s is uh, better than the AL120s. We got the sticker ones. Kevtech. How much, okay, how much you, okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna literally do this. We're gonna do this right now. We're gonna take off this motherboard and you show me which standoff and how much are you going to tip me if you're wrong? He said the middle standoff. I just wanna, I just wanna get this guy to see where it is. Okay, top down. I want you to look at this, look at this right here. Kevtech. 
The three holes that I have are here, here, and here. You're saying there is another standoff here in this row. You tell me which row. Is it this row that has the wrong standoff? Show me which row. This row right here has an, an incorrect standoff. Okay. If I'm wrong, then I will give away another 250 gig NVMe SSD. And I am fine with being wrong, because you probably saved me. But he's saying in this row, there is an incorrect standoff. I'm fine with triple checking. Okay guys, he said in this middle row, there is an incorrect standoff. I have three standoffs in the middle. And he is right, right here. That one, he's right. Thank you very much, KevTech. I owe, I owe you guys another AIO, another NVMe drive. So he caught it. There it is, he got him. It's this one right here. Should have been the 5M, not the 5 micro ATX. But there it is. He caught it. Like I said, look, I'm, I'll admit when I'm wrong. Good job, KevTech. Where is my screw bin? Where is the screw bin? So I, everybody, everybody, KevTech, he gets, a, he's gonna add another because of KevTech catching that. He gets another AI. He gets another. Uh, He's getting another, we're doing another giveaway. Oh, wait, I have the wrong one. It was not that one, it was this one. This is the one that he's talking about. Not that one, I put the wrong one. I, there's still an extra one, I just gotta fix that. This one is gonna go right here. Okay, there we go. There they are. Okay, now it's fixed. Uh, because you can't do a, a 360 millimeter AIO at the top. Good job, Catch Captech. Okay. This is why I always like, even if people go, I'll go and show it, and I've been wrong, and I've been right, then I'll always go back and look. He's just trying to make sure the build actually turns on. So that's a huge help. And you guys have caught that. How many times have I put the fans in the wrong way? Even after, what, 450 builds, yes, I make mistakes. I actually haven't got to build any yet, Monoplay. We have one on the way, Lee and Lee sent one. <clears throat> if you're gonna have a standoff, go outside and do it. Yeah, it'll short the board, yeah, for sure. Whoa, Juggalo gave him a tier three, uh, uh, gave him a tier three subscription. Okay, we got that in. Now it's fixed. KevTech saved us. 
and we can keep moving. Uh, okay, now. Not lose that in there. Um, there it is. Oh yeah. So there we go. We're gonna do exhaust. Uh, we're gonna do intake off of the top. The one thing about these fans is they only work a certain way. So I need to make sure they're the right way because sometimes this can get weird with the hoses. goes in so nicely. If we do it this way, the toes will be on this side. Okay. I can't do it the other way, can I? Yeah, it's going to have to be on this side. Cool. Okay, let's grab our screws. Want that one. One thing I like about these, uh, this the core, the Cooler Master ones, is that they have these really cool, kind of bigger screws. Sometimes they hit the VRMs though. Have to check that. I don't think it'll be a problem in this. A little bit more flair on the screws. There we go. Get this in. Okay, once we get that in, we'll go grab our, now we'll go grab our Wow stick. Ugh. Wow stick. Wow stick. Four more, or three, well, five more. No, four more. <clears throat> no, five more. I'm gonna do math good at some point in time. There we go. One more screw, one more screw. It's time to celebrate. Okay. There it is. Okay, there's our right there. Let us do 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 do. One of the stickers, because this is gonna go on this way, it's gonna be towards the back. Get these towards the front. Oh shoot.
got to get our stickers on to make it look better. There we go. One more sticker. There it is. <clears throat> okay, stickers are on. Let's get this mounted. away. Let's go to side. Here we go, side camera now. We have the right screws here. There we go. I like the one thing I like about the Cooler Master AIOs is just how nice their tooling is. So you can actually do your use your fingers to actually screw in the screws. Uh, Isaiah, we need to see them, right? So right now I'm excited about them. Rumor is they're going to be about on par with a 3070, which would be great. Um, you know, we won't have to worry as much in terms of they're produced in a different in their in Intel's factories, which is nice. Um, so we should, if they're as good as we say, um, as, as good as they say, then we have, uh, we'll, we should, hopefully it'll help alleviate GPU issues. Um, and they also have their own version of DLSS as well, um, and some other things. So that doesn't require, I mean, that does, like, that they can do per game with AI. Intel's got the money for it. So I'm excited. And then, you know, so we'll have to see. But again, we won't know until we have one. Intel's making a GPU. <clears throat> Let's find the other screws that are in the box back here. It's stuck. Give me the screws back. There they are. Wow, that was like a in motion installation there. Okay, so AIO is mounted now. I may need that. I don't need this. I don't need this. I may need this. I don't need that. Oh, wait. No, I don't need that. Okay, cool. Okay, let's get our thermal paste installed and get this mounted. Okay, there we go. Go 
top down. Let's get our thermal paste on. Use our Arctic Silver since we only have a little bit of that left. Now I like to cover the entire IHS versus using the pre-applied on AIOs because chiplets and everything else that's on these chips now, it's just nice to get a very even coverage, especially on 12th gen. We notice differences in thermals for both Ryzen and AMD, I mean Ryzen and Intel. So we cover the entire IHS. Okay, now we got a nice even coverage. I use, I use, the, I'm out of Noctua, so I have Arctic and I, I use Arctic and I use uh, Cremique and I use Thermal, I use uh, Noctua. I use all of them. The, thir the Noctua is better. Yeah, bread tag would work. You're good. If you got knocked to it, you're good. Okay, let's get this mounted. If you optional, do we have a Let's see if we actually have a pump mount. I wouldn't be, I would be surprised if we did not. Boom, 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 boom. Usually it's up near the top, but this one I think it might be down at the side. Channel fan, CPU optional, CPU fan. If I don't, then I will use the CPU fan header. Okay, so we'll use the CPU fan header and then we'll run it at a thousand. So that way if the pump fails and we'll get an extra message, we just need to, it's a BIOS change. Just need to make sure we do. There we go. Okay, so. Go ahead and twist it because I think that'll look better. What the, hold on. <clears throat> Where is? Did this get removed? Weird. 
Hold on one sec, guys. Okay, there you go. Okay, there's that one. We're gonna get in a little bit here. Definitely helps to have a wide Okay, there's that one in. Coolers in. I forgot to run these up, but that's not a big deal. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna take this. So we have a single, we only have a single uh, RGB port, so we'll have to split. No, actually, never mind. I don't. I'm gonna run the other one off USB. Okay, just getting our CPU fan plugged in. Ow. Okay, so all of our fans are, I mean, all we have now is we're gonna hook up our rear AI, our rear. Okay, so now, put this away get our front panels and start getting stuff hooked up and then we'll throw in our last our last uh, bit of okay that's what I was worried about so I might need a I might need an extension here I'm going to go ahead and remove this so we're not installing any physical drives ourselves more room for cable management. I 
there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get an extension for RGB. Do I have one? There we go, that's what I needed, perfect. Okay, so let's get our front panel connections hooked up, get everything in the back looking nice, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So we have no USB-C on this MOBO. Come on, baby. There we go. There's that one. Okay, there's that. There we go. Okay, so what we have here is the extra stuff I gotta run. Okay, so we have our USB 3.2 and our, so our USB 3.2 is gonna go right here, as is our front panel connections. I think USB 3.2 goes up here, we'll see. HD audio is gonna go down here. And then we'll run our RGB from the other side. I was off by one. It's gonna go right here. Okay. Okay, so first thing I wanna do, let's grab our bag of fun. I need to order more of these. Finally running, running low here. There it is. Right now I'm just making it look like a single set of cables off of here. And then we'll plug in our HD audio now. Okay, then we need our, this is for our RGB. Okay, and then we have our USB 3.2. And our front panels, oh geez. Oh, front panel's way over here. I'm hoping I can get to that. Okay. So front panels is gonna have to go right here. One thing I don't like about this case is that they actually did not give you a ton of front panel cable. Now, I wanna just to make sure this stays. I like these little clips. I wish every one of these came with something like this. Here we go, 
holds it together. Okay, now let's see if we can get our front panels to actually go to where they need to. Okay, um, that's all. That's all our cables. Oh, it's just just enough length. Not not by much, man. I'll be I'll be honest. Say this is like barely. It was like weird SATA. Move the front panel quite a move a bit over here. Me and Lee does not give you. Minus or plus? That's minus. And this is plus. I'm like having to almost stretch this to make this work. Oh, dang it! Sideways. Okay, one more cable, and then we got our front panels plugged in. Come on, baby. barely fits okay there we go okay all of our front panels are connected AIO is done we got our cable covered there so that's good so I'll twist it together hide it a little bit let's get this more under okay so now we can turn this over um, we do, all we have is we have a USB cable for our, so I have a single fan cable I'm going to run and a USB cable. The USB cable's on here. Okay. So this is our box, but that should be most everything. Once that's done, so let's. Get our last fans in. Then we can run that one single USB. This is for the Lee and Lee controller. And then at that point in time, then we can do our cable management. And then after that, basically install a GPU and we're pretty close to done from there. <clears throat> mm. Okay, so oh, I'm going to turn that back over and we're going to install our last fans. Let's remove this. There we go, last fans, last fans, last fans. Ah, ah. Okay, fans, okay, there we go. I also need to add one on the side. Okay, there we go. This thing has so much extra stuff. Okay. 
Okay, last fans. Oh, and it's got stickers too, which is good. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, two more fans, and then we have a rear fan that we gotta throw in too, I forgot about that. Put that one to the CPU optional though. fans okay let's get these together just a clicky 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 and a clicky 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 here Okay, there it is. There's all of our fans ready to go. Just need to add our one cable and then basically we're really close. Hey, thank you very much for the tier one, uh, Javara Max. That's awesome, appreciate it. Okay, this one goes right here. Okay, so this is gonna go like this. Gonna put our stickers on, stickers. sticker okay there we go all the stickers are in Let's undo the twisted ties here What are we doing on, uh, how are we doing on the, uh, the likes on the YouTubes? PC guys going on break. Everybody be prepared. Need fan screws here. Yes, the 3050 Ti and the 3090 Ti are coming out. mind them they're nice they're the one thing is they're they're usually like just a good option again this person was trying to be somewhat budget conscious for the build right 
So I think that's what, and the other thing too is it doesn't impact performance overall. Most people aren't gonna really overclock, so. There we go. Put that one in the wrong one. Oh, wrong hole. Okay. So we kind of get the four outside screws in. I'll use the wow stick. Speeds it up quite a bit. We're getting there. It's like the down, we're on the, we're on the downward, downward part of the build at this point. Slowly churning through. Guys, you guys have a, uh, oh yeah, I should go in. So real quick, let's talk about giveaways that are happening on the show today. There are a, there are a number of giveaways that are still happening. First one is that if we get two, 500, uh, two level five hype trains, uh, that will give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. We're gonna give another one away, uh, basically for uh, the gentleman KevTech who uh, found me a, uh, found an error in my build and saved us some uh, some big pain. Uh, the third one will be if we get 500 likes over at youtube.com slash robytech, hit likes, uh, thumb up, then we'll give away a third 250 gig NVMe for that. Uh, we also have uh, down in the bottom corner, you can see where it says 58 of 100. If we get, right now we're giving away a $50 Nui gift card, gives us $100, we get 100, 100 subs, comes a $100 Nui gift card, then $150, etc. So it grows the more subs we get. Lastly, we have a 3070 Ti we're giving away to a sub, one sub only over at twitch.tv slash robytech. If you're over at twitch.tv slash newegg or youtube.com slash robytech, pop on over, use your free Amazon Prime subscription. That'll get you a free entry. Now, if you wanna get extra entries, you can do things like what Pre and I'm Goods done or uh, even Red Dragon where you donate uh, you gift subs. That gets you one extra entry per gifted sub. Or you can subscribe at tier two and tier three. They get you five extra entries and 10 extra entries respectively. So those are the giveaways that are happening today on the show. All of them will happen at the end. We will be announcing for the 3080 Ti winner for the month of December. We'll be announcing that winner uh, on Saturday. So if you want to get your extra entries in, you want a chance to win a GPU, that's how you can basically do that and go from there. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> So that's all the stuff going in there. Thank you very much, PH4530U7, for the Prime sub. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this, get this run and ready, and then from here we can hook up our all of our fans, do our cable management, and then we're oh let's go and then we'll uh, let's go ahead and add our last fan while we're at it here. One day. Go. Okay, let's get our last fan in. Thank you very much, Scrub Ace, uh, and also Derpenstein, or Derpenstein. Thank you very much.
go. Okay, so there we go, fans are in. There we go, last fan. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get the, the small one squared away down here at the bottom. Make sure it's cable managed and down and through like it's supposed to. This one's supposed to come out. Okay, now we just gotta get this zip tied a little bit. Keep this hidden. There we go. Okay, now we have all our cables. Let's get them all wrapped and done. Plug this one into the CPU optional. We can actually start cable managing. Which isn't going to be that bad because there's not a ton to cable manage here in this one. Hook up our Lee and Lee real quick and then. Okay, there we go. So let's hook up our Lee and Lee box. We'll figure out how to where we're gonna put it, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, so we have our USB, needs to get done. There we go. Okay, so this and this need to get hooked up. And this is just an easy one. I'm gonna use as the fan header. I don't use the RGB header at all on these. Okay. Just need to run both of these and then we'll figure out where we're gonna put them. Thank you very much. Uh, we have, we're supposed to do a thing with Linus. I mean, Omicron has been a little bit of an issue. So we're supposed to do something with Linus uh, over the holiday break, but that got pushed back. So we're gonna be doing stump something here with them. As soon as kind of Omicron settles down. In fact, we, the last time we chatted, we, we, everybody was here. We actually called them on stream and talk to Luke, a good friend of mine. And so we chatted about what the next plan was. But yeah, Luke, awesome dude, and a lot of fun. All right, so now we have all of that we need to run this stuff. 
First thing I'm gonna do is get this kind of placed where I wanna place it. Which is like, uh, probably, I mean, ideally, maybe right here would be great, and then we can just kinda work around that. Okay, there we go. Problem is, is this should still stay okay. How the heck did I do? Cool. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of start. Getting cables grouped and out of the way here. We'll work on our fans. Because once these are kind of done, then everything else is like, the fans are always like the most tricky part, right? Like, good, luckily there's only eight cables to kind of get under control but still it just takes some time okay there's that there's our two there's our rgb and okay so let's get this one under control now this is our Getting it all under control now, so we don't have a bunch of crazy cables everywhere. There we go. Okay, next cables are done. There's another another bunch out of the way. Little at a time. Okay, next up, let's get these rear, these little lower cables done. This is our bottom set. We're gonna use them in three. There we go. Okay, that's that group done. Another cable group of cables done. Then I'm gonna go ahead and work on the front panels here. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we can work on these front panels. these out of the way. I just want a spine here, essentially. There we go, that'll control that.
Okay, there we go. There we go right there. Trying to clean up our little bottom spine here. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that takes care of all of this. Now I can just get this. Let me get how close I can get this to here. This is not independent. This is independent here. Okay hey guys, we are very close to finishing cable management now. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So now all we have left is two fan groups and then everything else is done. Let's go ahead and clean these up real quick. Okay, so this can go into one and two. One more right there and then we should be good. Okay, there we go. Okay, it takes care of that one. Let's get these done. And then we can put in our, G our PSU and our GPU. figure out the right length for these. What I'm trying to find out right now is just what's the right length to cable tie these, they're straight essentially. Go. 
And this should be, this will be under the GPU, I mean the PSU, which would be nice, so should actually still look good. You get so much better with like one-handed zip ties now. go. Come on, give it to me. The last bit. This is always the most concentrated bit right here as you work on getting your cables, your cables managed. Okay. There's that round. Okay, last group right here. This is it. Last cables. And these have to be in three and four. There we go, there's three. And finally, and four, okay. Kind of work on the same thing here. Can we actually make this work over here? A little bit bigger. Okay, what I'm doing here is just making sure this, these cables stay together. So they'll, be, they'll be managed together and then we'll finish the... Just like that, yeah, see? Okay, there we go, last little bit, and then we've got all our cables managed. There we go, come on. Also hold that down. Okay, there we go. Cable management is done. Oh, 
All of our cables are managed, everything looks clean, there's not a lot to it. These will be underneath the PSU, so that'll look good. And then everything looks just nice and simple and out of the way and easy to find. Let's get this stuff into the garbage can. Then we do, we just go and put in our PSU. Okay, let's get our PSU in real quick. Our tiny PSU. Oh shoot, almost forgot about that. Good thing I saw it here. That would've been bad. One more cable I gotta deal with. And actually, we'll figure out how to. Almost forgot about a cable, guys. But I saw it last minute. The power for this thing. Now we have it all. Now let's get this open. PSU. So we need VGA, CPU. Don't need that. We need a single SATA. Single SATA. Don't need Molex, ooh. Though we did have to use it for our last water cooled build. Hold on, my wife is calling. Let's see what she says. She's calling on video. Hello? Well, hi, how are you? Good, we're streaming, what's up? Okay. Okay, so that. Turnaround isn't gonna be super fast, but all the stuff you asked me to get at the store is now at home. Thanks, babe. Appreciate it. Everybody, say hi to. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye. She was. She wasn't on there. But thank you. She got all the stuff at the store. That's so good of her. <clears throat> she. Uh, it's busy. Like during the school year, it's always busy. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like she's dealing with school year stuff right now, right? Because it's, it's the middle of the school year. Okay, there we go. Grab our PSU now. Little tiny boy. Oh, it is. Almost there. Okay, now we just gotta get our screws in, uh, get our motherboard, or sorry, our, our PSU on. We got, all we got left after that is some simple stuff. Okay, so we need PSU. SATA, in this case peripheral, CPU, and our VGA. 
Okay. Little tiny PSU. Little tiny PSU. go. Okay. PSU's in. There we go. Okay. So this is all ready for when we put in all our stuff. The only one we can really hook up right now is just the SATA. go. Okay, so there's that. Now all we have left is to get our GPU in, add our cable extensions, and that's it. Hype train super close, guys. Let's get one more thing and we hit hype train. Sky scanner drive, trying to get it. We got to get one more. No, it's a, I can see it. Two minutes and then we'll hit it. Let's go. Ugh. There it is. Hype train is now active. There it is, Kobayashi, was it? Brand I'm Good dropping three gifted subs. Coco Shibuya dropping one. Uh, Moist Grams dropping five gifted subs. Juggalo dropping 1,000 bits. Willemeister subscribe for six months of tier one. Coco Shibuya, one month and 13 months, man. That's awesome. Okay, let's get our GPU in now. Grandest finale, one gifted sub, tier one. There it is, we're getting super close guys. We're 20 away from a hundred dollars new a gift card. So yeah, we're, we're getting close to that hundred dollar new a gift card too as well, guys. Iron Gazebo dropping one gifted sub. We got PH4530U7 dropping two gifted subs. Juggalo Jimmy dropping five gifted subs. We're getting super close to that hundred dollar mark. Elso, Elso, is it El, El, oh, El Solo Doctor.
53%, guys. Three hundred fifty-three guys. We need one hundred and fifty-three likes over at YouTube, guys. Fifty-three percent, guys. We're not quite done with that. With that. Uh, with our five. We're high, level five yet. Eleven subs away from a hundred-dollar new A gift card. They're supposed to be exhaust. The top, the rear and the bottom, the top and the bottom are intake. It's the best, we've tested multiple things. It's the best uh, airflow in this case for temps. Whoa, oops. Medic dropping 50, guys. Three minutes left. We still got half, 50% left to go. Can we get those last 10 subs at least? Knock out that next tier of giveaway. Brand, I'm good. Taking two more. Sky Scanner dropping two more. We're at 93. Seven away, guys. Everybody getting those entries in on that 3070 giveaway. Gunlauger dropping 10 gifted subs. There it is, level five, and we're now on our way to the 100, towards $150, but we can definitely unlock that next tier. Oh, dude, crazy with the spam riffs today. There we go. Getting our, there it is. Man, this thing is like, there we go, extra caught. There we go. Even though there's less filling, like less peel than the Asus, man, I tell you, these things take a long time versus like the Asus, just because of how sticky they made that one section there. There we go. Mel Archives, Archivals dropping one, and there we are, 104, and the hype train has ended. You guys are rock stars. There we are. We've done, we've got unlocked that giveaway. How are we doing on the likes on YouTube? Um, let's update the giveaway. So 
We're on our way to $150 new gift card. We have 104. Okay, next goal is up. See if we can hit it. Not sure, but we'll see. I always like to throw it down. Let's get our GPU in. Anonymous, thank you very much for the one gifted sub. Okay. Uh, number one GPU to get. Hmm. Well, I mean, if you could just get anyone, uh, you can get a Founders Edition because you're not, it's like the less expensive. Uh, number two on my list would be the EVGA. Uh, these, I love the 3080 and 30, the 3080 Ti's. Um, A, also same thing, price is, whoops, I chose the wrong one. Price is nice. And they're very, very powerful and I love their, their extension stuff. And then the other one is uh, like the second close is like the Asus Strix. Guys, we have, we're almost there on the 500. Go ahead and hit that like over on the YouTubes. Okay, here we go. Let's get this GPU in. Okay, that's in. That is like filling up this whole thing, but it's getting good amount of air. is awesome okay there's our GPU in <clears throat> okay so what we have left is just to Put our cable extensions in, hook up a couple more cables, and then we'll go through our... What did I do with my box? Hook up a couple cables, and then we'll do our deals, and then that is it for this build. Oh, I threw it, that's why. That's not gonna help me any good. Is that where that belongs? There we go. Uh, the 3080 Ti is still the best one. 3080, as weird as it is, is the 12 gigs like right in between the two others. Let us, let us get our cables in here. Cable extensions. Uh, best value is a 3080. I mean, just realistically, I mean, you're talking about a 10%, what, 10 or 15%? And the 3080, from a price standpoint, because it was before all the weirdness, was just at a really good price. Ethan, it'll be on YouTube uh, right there on my live thing. The whole thing will be there. So you can watch this entire thing. It's there for your enjoyment.
there for you to enjoy. Please do. That's what I said, ho, uh, ho hack me. I said the 3080. You want the most powerful, the 3080 Ti. I'd say even that over the 3090. Just because, honestly, 3090 just isn't worth it. But the 3080 is just great, great price, especially if you can get like an EVGA or a, um, or a Founders Edition. Well, they said between the 3080, 3080 Ti and the, and the 3080 12. I agree, 3070, I, getting 3070s is actually really hard. 3070 Ti is not so bad. Well, getting any GP is hard, but I mean, of the, of the ones to get. SF, uh, SFP Phoenix, I haven't looked at it. Don't know Super Chat. Wait, what, what, what did I miss? I don't see the Super Chat. Man, he's a crow. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Okay, so that takes care of this. Let's get this. Let's just hook it up. Uh, is this here? Why not? Okay, there's our. What the? Okay, so there's that one. So we don't have a whole lot. That's gonna go over here. Okay, CPU's next. Get our long, long boys here. Okay, next cable is our CPU. You can go away. single four pin for this four pin plug just to make it look nice
we're just trying to get this cable to go in. Belongs. Come on. Oh, the pain in the butt. Okay. Here we go. Get this hooked up. How are we doing on likes on YouTube? I think somebody just mentioned it up. Don't forget guys, we're, we just need that little bit to get the, uh, the uh, last giveaway. Okay, there we go. Okay, last bit of this whole thing, the GPUs. Okay, let's get this GPU done. Thank you, Marlin. Okay. A couple more and then we're done. Okay. Yeah, it is pretty, it is, it, yeah, until we turn it on, it'll still be fairly minimal with an RGB, but it's not, yeah, it's still, it's still got RGB. You can turn it all off, though, if you wanted to. Run it murdered out if you wanted to.
What's up, Poncho? How are you, man? Okay, cable combs are in now. Oh yeah, let's get the music fixed. Okay, let's get the music on. And then we can hook this last thing in and we basically finish the build. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's just make sure the front looks good. Let's make sure the front looks good and then we are done with the build.
figure are. Okay, there we go. Build looks pretty. We are done. Let's check our deals. Then we'll turn it on. We're good to go. is done. There we go. Make sure that's good. Let's put it back together for the most part. There we go. Let's put the back on. Ooh. There you go nice and clean for the most part. Got most of it underneath that bit. Okay, there you go. There's your back. Looks nice and clean. They're all hidden. Yeah, that was the thing. Guys, we need 70 likes on the YouTube if you guys want to pop over and hit that. Okay, let's get our... for the sake of fun, put the top on even though we won't have any glass on. Okay, there we go. There is our build. Take a quick look at it, just make sure that there is no weirdness or anything. Everything looks clean. Build looks good. There we go. Else I did not do what I was supposed to do here. There we go. Okay. Let's go through our deals real quick, and then we'll get it turned on and do our giveaways, and then <clears throat> that'll be it for today's show. 
See what Tom found us. Yeah, the TV that I read everything off of, that's okay. You're, you're, seeing, you're seeing the magic. How dare you? I don't want you to see the magic. It's ruining the magic of TV. Okay. This is, oh, this is a pre-recorded video? Is that what's going on? I'm the magic, that's right. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the deals today. See what, let's see what Tom's found. Okay, let's check out our game capture. It works. Nope, it does not. Oh, okay. no, it's definitely there. Okay, let's check PC capture. Sometimes it shows up there. Nope, it doesn't show up there either. Making sure we have the right one. Oh, there it is. Okay, we got it. Okay, so uh, let's talk about robitechdeals.com. So robitechdeals.com, if you're ever looking for cheap PC hardware, if you're looking for our merch store, if you're looking for cheap video games, televisions, electronics, tech in general, robitechdeals.com is a great place to go. Basically, we have a person on staff, his name's Tom. His whole job is just to go find deals for you. And so he does that through Best Buy, HP, Amazon, Newegg, all of those places he goes through and he finds them. So if at any point in time you're like, hey, I'm gonna go build a PC, head on over to robitechdeals.com first just to see uh, just to see uh, if there's a deal there for you. And now it has stuff like, here's our schedule, uh, there's the Robitech store. Uh, and then if you're ever like shopping at Best Buy, Amazon, or Newegg, and you're like, hey, I wanna help Roby, but I don't have money necessarily, you can always go here, click on the link. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help us. So uh, great opportunity and great way to support us just by getting your groceries or whatever it was, or anytime you're shopping on Amazon or Newegg, et cetera. We also have a link to the Newegg Shuffle. The other thing too is at Roby Tech Deals. We also have the build mats, uh, but we also have at Roby Tech Deals on Twitter, which is actually probably a, a, a pretty fast way where you can see he pretty much finds deals all the time. Here's tweeting them all 24 seven. Dude doesn't sleep, he is a bot. We don't know what else he does. Uh, the other thing too is, uh, like I said, we talked about this before at the Roby Tech store. Um, our build mats are now up and for sale over, so you can go here, they're $100 for these build mats if you're interested in getting one. They're also great for just giant mouse pads. They have great glide. We worked really hard to make sure that we had material that kind of worked for both. Um, you can find those are hundred bucks if you want to go pick something like that up as well. As well as all of our stuff is $44 off or 44% off now um, for my birthday. So if you guys want to pick up a shirt, a hat, a t-shirt, all of those things are also on sale today. Lastly, uh, if you're ever like, hey, I really like a build that I see here on the show, you can go over to your stream builds, uh, all of our stuff, like all of the components that we use, including the one that we already updated, uh, all the prices at the cheapest in terms of uh, for their location, you can go here and you can find that stuff too. So if you're like, oh, I'd love to get the strimmers or I'd love to get, uh, sorry, the unis or I'd love to get the whatever PSU, all of those things are updated at the cheapest price as of the day of filming. Uh, okay, so that's it. That's our good good place to bookmark Roby Tech deals. It's updated all the time. Uh, definitely check it out. But let's talk about what deals uh, Mr. Tom has found for us today. So there's some really good ones. Um, so let's start here. Uh, Gigabyte M32Q 32 inch. It's a 165 inch gaming monitor, uh, 1440p obviously, uh, with a 0.8 millisecond response time. That's crazy. Uh, obviously not a good one for content creators, but 94%, sorry, serious like uh, color correcting content creators, but 94% DCI-P3. It's got HDMI uh, 2.0, so not necessarily good for next gen consoles, but it's $409 
over off of Amazon. So you regularly $500 on sale right now for $409.99. Asus Tough Gaming VG27WQ. This is a 2550A by 1440, one millisecond response time, 165 hertz max. It's got HDMI, free sync, display HDR 400, built in speakers, height adjustable. It's on sale, sale right now, $60 off, $269.99. Uh, the Asus Tough Dash 16.5, 15.6 inch laptop. This is an FHD or 100, a 1080p. It's 240 hertz refresh rate. It's got an i7 and an RTX 3070. Holy crap. For $12.99, wow, that is a really good deal. 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte M.2 for 200 for $12.99. Geez, that's a great deal for a uh, lot for a laptop. Wow, dude, that's awesome. Uh, Asus RG Zephyrus 14 inch gaming, 1080p, 144 hertz. This is a Ryzen 9 with an RTX 3060, uh, which is only which is like the one next to it. It's is better. Uh, and it's $12.99, but we're gonna get the Tough for $200. Now, let me tell you this about the Tough. So we just got finished doing a review. We did a cheap but worth it. My son has that laptop, the 17 inch version of this laptop, and that laptop's fantastic. It's got a great form factor. The keyboard's awesome. So if you really are looking for a great gaming lap, gaming slash, um, gaming slash like productivity laptop, that's actually a really good one. Um, and even Tom would agree, which is actually pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Um, Okay, Crucial M.2, 500 gig for 50 bucks, less than 50 bucks, $49 for a 500 gig Crucial NVMe SSD. Uh, my Air Duster, which we use all the time, love this thing, 60 bucks. Uh, we have it here in the studio. I was using it earlier. I don't know where it's at now, but uh, this is actually a really great Air Duster. Nice, uh, just hold down the button. It does a really good job. It blows well. There you go, $59.99 on sale over at Amazon.com. Uh, four terabytes. Uh, 7200 RPM hard drive. Uh, so if you're looking for a good storage solution that's still somewhat fast, uh, this might be a good option. Uh, usually $189.99 on sale right now, $139.99. SN850, this is a one terabyte uh, PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drive. We use a lot of Western Digital products on our show. $139.99 is a great price for that one terabyte PCIe Gen 4. Uh, IQ H150 Elite Capellix. Uh, LGA 1700 compatible. Uh, we, we, you can also upgrade this with the LCD kit, yeah, though it's never in stock. Uh, right now it's on sale $159.99, so $20 off, uh, regularly $179.99. Uh, 12 terabyte, uh, if you're just looking for an external, basically NAS storage, simple NAS storage, uh, looks like uh, $194.99 uh, on sale over at Newegg. Uh, CyberPower PC. So this is the Game Master Gaming at 5600X, 5600G. So it actually actually has a GPU, eight gigs of memory. It's also got a 6600XT, 500 gig SSD uh, for one of, for 1199.99. Um, so if you're down with AMD, there's that's actually a really good deal for that laptop, uh, desktop. Man, I still can't get over this laptop. That laptop is a crazy deal. Um, Acer Nitro X73, uh, this is a 27 inch, uh, two, uh, 1440p, 240 hertz, one millisecond grade of gray, uh, up to a half a millisecond grade of gray, HDMI display port, audio free sync, built-in speakers, $429.99. So regularly almost 600 bucks on sale for uh, $429. Uh, the 5800X is currently on sale for $355. Uh, the Corsair ARM 750X, uh, a 750 watt PSU, uh, which would be good for a 3060, 3060 Ti build. Please don't use this for a 3070, uh, $79.99 after a $20 rebate. Uh, the DF700 Flux, love this, this, uh, love this case. Really good for airflow, specifically for the GPU. It's got an additional fan down at the bottom for it. I like the Flux ones. Um, so it's on sale, $94.99. Uh, and then the RX 6600 looks like you can get one, $459.99 if you're looking to build a nice uh, 1440p rig. So there you go, not with uh, DLSS. Hey, good deals today, Tom, you weren't kidding. Uh, that Crucial that uh, crucial and that laptop are my favorite though. Oh, and the uh, SN850, those are my, my favorite. So anyway, anything guys that you guys saw that was interesting, cool, uh, that you were like, good job, first and foremost, good job to Tom, who always takes the time to go find all these deals for us. But yeah, good job, Tom. The Antec, the DF700 is a great case, if you're looking for a good case. Uh, and it's, it has a tendency to be pretty inexpensive. Um, we have a review on it up on Roby Tech, if you wanna check it out up on our YouTube channel, if you wanna give it, give it a go and, and check it out for yourself. But yeah, actually pretty good case. Uh, 
But no, because you don't get a couple things. One, uh, you don't get the, uh, you actually don't get the uh, efficiency you're paying for. Uh, 3070 actually pushes a uh, 750 pretty pretty well. So I would recommend, uh, the other thing too is we also have seen problems where uh, uh, certain PSUs, especially not high quality, not that that would be an issue for Corsair, um, do sometimes power off. So uh, if I, for a 3070, I'd recommend an 850 watt PSU. 18 more likes guys on the YouTubes. That's all we need, 18 more. Head on over to youtube.com slash robytech and do it. Okay, let's get this turned on. The EVGA power link, which I don't know, zero heat, is that the one for the Founders Edition? <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know off the top of my head, yeah. I am turned on, nice, okay, there you go. Okay guys, let's, uh, yeah. Six left, I like how we're getting like the real countdown. Ugh, I'm gonna get this all plugged in and ready to go. It's the final countdown, and there it is. I don't know, I've never, I've never used it before, so I'm not sure. Okay, well luckily, because of KevTech, we won't short out our MOBO. There we go. Okay, so all of our cables are plugged in. I have to look at it. I, I need to look at it. I have never used it. There it is, guys. Good job on the goal. Okay, here we go. Uh, Elgato. Let's go to let's go to mood mode. There it is. Okay, here it goes, guys. Here we go. Push this down. Be over. Okay, here it is. Oh, I see lights. I see cameras. There it is. It is on. I actually like, man, that corset, that Cooler Master actually looks really good with this build. That looks really good. I love that these, this is, I mean, the, what, the, this makes such a big difference, like doing intake from the bottom for the GPU thermals and then pulling the cold air in from the top. Uh, just makes a big difference in terms of this stuff. And it just looks really good. Yeah, and, and I, these bars, this bar on the RGB is, is just great. By the way, guys, it does post, there's your game capture right there. We actually have a working, fully functioning, completely ready to go build. There it is, and it is, it is done. It is posted. And thanks to KevTech, it's not dead. Thanks, man, I appreciate it, Pig Radio. Pig Radio. Can it run Crisis? Yes, this is a 3070 Ti, yeah, it can run Crisis. That looks really good on screen, doesn't it? I love the way the AIO looks. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't, it's got the tough, it's got the tough thing on it, yeah. It's a, thir it's, hey, NVIDIA has officially said that it can be 3070 TI or TI, either one works. Yeah, I can understand that, Psycho Zulu. Okay, so first one that we're gonna do, we're gonna start our giveaways. Uh, we got to 109, guys. That's pretty good. We got to 109 today. Uh, we're going to start our first giveaway, uh, which is going to be, uh, we're going to be drawing three winners for that one. Um, and that's going to be for three uh, 250 gig NVMe SSDs. Uh, and then afterwards, we'll draw the winner for the $100 new gift card. And then that is it. I'm going to go ahead and put this on side mode and get you guys some good views so you guys get a nice clean view of the build. Oh, never mind. Forgot one thing. You guys wanted to see this. Uh, people had asked for us to show you with blue liquid. So let's bring this one in. So this is the... Ugh. Our Halo Infinite custom build. Custom water cooled. So we put blue liquid in it now. 
and uh, show it. So we'll take off the thing so you guys can see this. Yeah, this is the eight hour build. There you go. You guys can see what you think. Yeah, this build came out super good. Okay, so let's shift, shift this, shift this, shut this one off real quick. And then you guys wanted to see it with blue liquid, so we tried it. We're gonna try foggy. We're gonna see which one you guys like better. If you wanna see the clear one, it's on Twitter. There we go, and boom. So this is it with blue. Because people are saying, hey, with the Cortana blue. So that's what it looks like with the blue. Now, sorry, it's not fully booted up yet. Once it does, then these will go blue too. There you go. Oh, no, not yet. It's getting there. Yeah, these are the uh, the uh, Razer Kunai. That didn't, that one, that one orange, yellow. Okay, that, they were supposed to, the RGB was supposed to go blue too, but yeah. Oh, there it goes. So this is the, with the blue, there you go. So we did that for blue. From there, I'll zoom it, I'll, I'll bring it up on the side camera here in a minute so you guys can see it a little bit better, but yeah. No, the Tridents are blue. They're supposed to be. We, we made it, because the thing is, is that with the yellow, with the green, sorry, with the blue, it started having green. So we changed, we were playing around with the lighting and stuff like that. Let me get this out of the way real quick. Bring a closer view for you guys. Get some light in that. There you go, there's some here, so you guys can see it a little bit better. Oh, it's all frozen, of course, because it does that. There you go. Let's see if I can get you guys a little bit more light. So there you go. There's a little bit more light there. So what do you guys think of the what do you guys think of the blue? It really blew me away, huh? Yeah, it'll, it, they'll go away. It just doesn't run a ton. Well, that's because yeah, it turns green. That was kind of the thing. Yeah, we have Fizan. Yeah, that's the problem is the RAM is just really, like when we had it all gold, yeah, with clear, I, so far the clear is my favorite. Now, somebody's saying we might try like a, a fog. We did, well, we could do a fog. 
Yeah, but then it's not, then it's not, it doesn't feel like Halo at all. Now the Halo is all in the theme on the outside, right? Like you get, again, the inside the, with, with the whole thing in there, the Halos, yeah. Yeah, these are, they, yeah, they're thick fans. They're, they're powerful too. So, anyway, okay, we well, wanted to show it to you. Oh, the whole case is green though. Like if you look at the case, like that's the thing is like you're just seeing the build, but the whole case itself, like the whole case itself is green with 117. And so it's like, uh, that's that's the thing, right? It's like, it, it is very, like the build itself is very uh, Halo. So here's the back of it. See what I mean? Yeah. We're just talking about like, and it's got the blue on the distro plate now, yeah. So, yep. So there's the build. Well, uh, let's uh, let's do our giveaways. Just get this in there from there, and then we'll go from there. I wanted to show it off. We're playing with it, figuring it out. Okay, so let's do the first giveaway. This is for two. This is for two. So exclamation point community, this is for three, sorry. Exclamation point community, this is for three. Um, uh, 250 gig NVMe SSDs, exclamation point community, two minutes, guys. Okay, starting that giveaway right now. 250 gig NVMe SSDs. She's gonna draw three winners. Two minutes, guys, total. So, exclamation point community, guys. There we go. Eighteen seconds, guys. Okay, she's gonna draw three winners. Congratulations to Evan Tuck and As in Venom and Plutonium OC. Congratulations, guys. The it's giveaways over. So congratulations to Plutonium OC, Evan Tuck, and Azen Venom. Azen Venom. You guys are the winners of the 250 gig NVMe SSD.
Okay. Next one. Uh, exclamation point new egg now. This is for a hundred dollar new egg gift card. Exclamation point new egg now. Hundred dollar new egg gift card. Starting that giveaway right now. Hundred dollars, guys. Okay, one minute left. Twenty seconds, guys. Ooh. Oh, I need to put the glass back on. Okay, drawing our winner in just a second. Congratulations to, has not been drawn yet. I guess I'm gonna draw the winner. Oh, we, he just won. Uh, we may have to draw the, okay, there it is. Elso Doctor, Elso, El Solo Doctor. Congratulations, El Solo Doctor. You are the, yeah, I know, I know, we fixed it. She redrew. Congratulations, El Solo Doctor. You are the winner of a $100 new gift card. Congratulations. Okay, guys, well, that is it for today's stream. We are back tomorrow for at uh, noon or one. Sorry, noon or one, I don't remember. Uh, noon or one for, congratulations on one year, Super Doomsday. Uh, noon or one for uh, Amazon Live. We're gonna be doing tech deals going into the weekend. And then we have a XPG Cruiser case we're gonna be checking out on Saturday, brand new case uh, that we're gonna be checking out. So that's gonna be uh, Saturday at 12 p.m. Uh, and then uh, Sunday off, and then we're back on Monday uh, for the, Mili the Lee and Lee uh, uh, 011 Air Mini uh, that you guys have been asking for. Uh, we're gonna be doing a blackout build. So it's actually got almost no RGB in it. Uh, it's gonna be uh, custom uh, air-cooled, not water-cooled. So it's gonna be air-cooled, uh, 011 build. Uh, you guys are gonna wanna tune in. It's all DDR5, uh, 12th gen, so it should be a nice, uh, cool build, and so that's gonna be good. That's gonna be happening uh, basically on uh, Monday. So, and then uh, that's uh, that's kicking off the rest of the week. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Have a great rest of your night, and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>